All of the following algebra problems are called equations. Equations? Oh my. They are called equations because of the equal sign. An equation means that one side is equal to the other side. The goal is to simplify the equation and isolate the variable x on one side. With the first equation, 6x equals 18, we want to isolate the x on one side. So if we divide both sides by 6, the two 6's cancel out, and we are left with x equals 18 over 6. 6 goes into 18 three times, so our answer is x equals 3. Oh, yes. In the next equation, 2x plus 5 equals 19, we again want to isolate a single x on one side. So first, let's get rid of this 5. We can subtract 5 from both sides. The two 5's cancel out, and 19 minus 5 equals 14. So we are left with 2x equals 14. To get rid of the 2 in front of the x, we can divide both sides by 2. This leaves us with x equals 14 over 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times, so our final answer simplifies to x equals 7. Oh my! In the third equation, we have 6x minus 4 equals negative 8. Again, we want to isolate the x on one side, so let's get rid of the negative 4 by adding 4 to both sides. The two 4's cancel out. On the other side, negative 8 plus 4 equals negative 4. We are left with 6x equals negative 4. To get rid of the 6, we can then divide both sides by 6. The two 6's cancel out on one side. On the other side, we have negative 4 over 6. Negative 4 over 6 can further simplify to negative 2 over 3. We are then left with our answer. X equals negative 2 thirds. Oh yeah! Our last equation is 2x plus 3 equals 5x minus 2. For this equation, we have an x variable on both sides. We want to isolate the x variable on one side, so we subtract 5x from both sides. The two 5x's cancel out. 2x minus 5x equals negative 3x. Our remaining equation now reads negative 3x plus 3 equals negative 2. To further isolate the x on one side, we will get rid of the positive 3 by adding a negative 3. Since we are doing this to one side, we also have to add a negative 3 to the other side. The two 3's cancel out. Negative 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 5. Our equation now reads negative 3x equals negative 5. To get rid of the negative 3 in front of the x, we divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 over negative 3 is positive 1. On the other side, negative 5 over negative 3 is positive 5 over 3. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So our answer is x equals 5 over 3. Boom, shake it, shake it. Boom, shake it, shake it. Oh, yeah.